Were you able to get any sleep this week? Mm. A couple of hours, maybe. The nightmare? Getting progressively worse. I got taken under this time. Oh no. Then? Then I woke up. I have this feeling of dread, as if it's building to something. Yeah? Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna lose it completely. I understand. Lack of sleep can be tough on the mind and the body. You're still certain you don't wanna be prescribed anything? I don't want anything, no. I'm almost more terrified of what I'll see if I actually can't wake up. How are the meditation exercises going? Well, I'm doing them. That's good. I guess. It's been a year now. A year? Since the attack? Yes, of course. Um, how do you feel about that? Shitty, obviously. Right. Alone. Do you still blame yourself? Hey. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Oh, you know. Tired, headache, the usual. How was your session? Oh, swell. How does that make you feel, and how do you feel about that all day? And how do you feel about that? Shut up, jerk face. I am not a jerk face. You're a part-time jerk face. Yeah? And the other part-time, I'm a luscious, righteous goddess, right? Right. <laughs> how was your day, luscious? <laughs> you know me. I slay all day. You did not just say slay all day. I did. You didn't. I did, though. I hate you. You love me. You suck. Only if you let me. <laughs> hey, let me take you out tonight. Let's go do something fun. <sighs> I don't really feel like going anywhere. I'm already lounging. Ah, uh, it's one of those kind of days, huh? Pretty much. Okay, then let me come over and make you dinner. I certainly won't argue against that. Shocker. <laughs> I'll be by around six. Sounds good. See you then, beautiful. Bye, luscious goddess. So? So? What do you think? It was I. Right. I'll do better next time. Could you please? <laughs> okay. It was amazing. Thank you. Mm, my pleasure. Oh no, I, I'll, I'll do that. Nada. I got this. You chillax. Watch a movie? Maybe. What are you thinking? I don't know. 
something funny. Got us a little party favor. Ah, <laughs> you know I'm not down on the devil's lettuce. You're still scared of the reefer madness? I'm terrified of those herbal jazz cigarettes. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just ganj, babe. Keep telling you this will help you sleep. I know, but how are you sleeping, by the way? Any better? Not really. I managed maybe a couple of shitty hours a night. Oh, babe. I'm so sorry. That really sucks. You know what's great to help you sleep? Keep all the bad dreams away? What's that? <laughs> Making sweet love by the fire. My fireplace is broken. <laughs> Making sweet love will keep the sharks away. Oh yeah, they hate the sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, I don't know. It's okay. I understand. Do you? Of course. I don't feel ready to go there yet. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you no, feel... No, 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 no. Don't say sorry. You've been nothing but amazing and patient with me. I don't know who would put up with waiting four months. Has it been? Yeah. Not that I noticed or anything. <laughs> yeah, all right. We can just cuddle and watch a movie. I'll take it. I just want to be here. I'm glad you're here. It must be nice to have someone who supports you, yes? Of course, it's great. Almost too great. And what do you mean by that? You know, just too good to be true. Ah, yes. She's just so loving and sweet. I feel like a total asshole by comparison. Well, you're going through something. It sounds like she understands that. She does, but I'm always wary of anyone who seems too perfect, you know? Meanwhile, here I am, an emotional mess who can't even get intimate with her. Has she expressed any feelings to you about that? No, not really. I mean, she seems disappointed at times, but who wouldn't, right? <laughs> Every time we get close, I just can't. Have you been with women before? Yeah. In college, I dated both. But Seth was my first real long-term relationship, though. Why did you think I... Oh, just asking. Yeah, no, it's, it's not that at all. It's more like 
this wall I can't break through. Almost as if he won't let me. Who? Seth? Maybe. Or the shark? I don't know, that sounds ridiculous and batshit. <laughs> that does not sound ridiculous and bad shit. It makes sense in a way. It does? A shark not wanting me to be intimate? Well, why not? It doesn't want to lose its power over you. If you let yourself go and become intimate with someone, you may feel better. If you feel better, you may relax. If you relax, you may... I may not have the dreams anymore. Right, right. I'm just tossing ideas around. The human mind is very complex. Isn't it, though? I just want to be able to shut it off and be able to sleep. Well, have you been doing the meditation? The meditations, yes. I thought exercise would help too, but I'm just so damn tired all the time. Have you given any more thought to the pool? No. No way. Not ready for that. Okay. No problem. Understood. I'll get there, just not yet. Understood. Um, is next week at 8 still good for you? Yes, should be. I have an appointment next Wednesday, if that works for you. Um, my dog Ryan has an appointment on our usual Tuesday, so... Your dog's name is Ryan? Yeah, kinda funny, right? Uh, he was my brother's first, so he came to me named. So I'll go ahead and put you down. Oh my god, are you okay? What happened? Okay, just breathe, breathe. Um, everything is fine. What did you see? I... I can't... I can't... Okay, okay, just breathe and relax. Whoa, I'm so sorry. No, do not apologize. This is really embarrassing, I... Uh... None of that now. I should go. Apparently I'm seeing shit now. I uh, saw a shark in the window. You mean out there? Yeah. It was swimming towards you, moving through the air like water. Oh, wow. I can sleep, don't I? <laughs> Am I going crazy? No, you're not. Like I said, lack of sleep can be brutal on the mind. I'm going to recommend you to a colleague that can prescribe you some- No! No pills. Okay. I understand, no pills. It's Hector, right? Javier. Javier, right. Hey, look, Javier. 
I know you're doing your job, but could you maybe do it later? Or better yet, tomorrow? Or never? <laughs> it's just I have a really bad headache from lack of sleep, and it's especially bad right now. I would really appreciate it. I could maybe even give you some money. I can't do it. I have to finish. Well, maybe, I don't know, you could use a rake. Hmm? You know, a rake, what you're supposed to use after you gather up the leaves. I can't do it. I, I don't have. You don't have a rake. So then what the f What are you even doing then? You're just blowing leaves and dirt from one yard to another. You're not cleaning shit. You're just spreading dirt everywhere and disturbing everyone's peace. And it helps nothing. Does it make you feel good to know you were literally doing nothing useful? Why don't you blow the leaves into a pile and pick them the fuck up and toss them? Why? Tell me why! Sorry, senora. I have to finish work. Look, I'm sorry I yelled. It's been a rough several months for me and I think I'm starting to lose it a bit. I apologize. You sure I can't just give you some money and maybe you can finish early? I can't do it. But I, I finish fast, I go, okay? like such a giant douchebag. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's the last thing that guy needed. Was some crazy girl yelling at him for doing his job. I probably sound to know better than some racist asshole. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Those things are super loud and annoying, especially when you're tired with a headache. I'm sure you're not the first person to say something. I can't tell you how many times I wanted to myself. I just then I... What? Never mind. Nothing. Not important. You sure? Yes. What's for dinner? I was thinking tacos and margaritas. Wait, really? Or are you making fun of me still? <laughs> A little bit of both. Hey! <laughs> Wait, but you like tacos, right? Of course I like tacos. I just feel weird saying like, yay, tacos, given what just happened. <laughs> it's actually more ignorant for you to assume that he was Mexican. He could have been from El Salvador for all you know. Oh, jeez, you're right. Oh, come on, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Why do I suck so bad? You don't. You actually suck good. How would you know? I can just imagine. Thank you. Thank you for being awesome. I honestly can't help it. Brody! Hey, where are you going? My dog is more humble than you and he's totally full of himself. I know you're out here, you son of a bitch. 
Hold it together, Liz. Hold it together. Hey, do you have any of that non-dairy vegan coffee ice cream I like in your fridge? You know that stuff that you had that one time? The like, only time you ever made me dinner? Hello? Liz? What are you doing? Oh, hey, Brody! What is up, my guy? Oh, yo, I missed you too. Liz, oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on over there, but you look ridiculous. This actually reminds me of that one time that you snuck into my room and tried to jack my scuba dive Barbie. And I totally caught you, but you thought I didn't see you. So you like inched your way through the door. <laughs> and I was like, dude, why are you jacking my settings? And you're like, I'm not jacking your settings. <laughs> Oh God, jacking my settings. What a stupid saying our dad ingrained into us. I still say jacking all the time. Okay, Liz, enough. What is up? <laughs> you are dead. Am I? <laughs> Says, of course I am. I'm dead as Daffy and Duck season. Or am I? What, what are you doing here, Peyton? Well, I wanted to see you. I mean, you look like shit. All that lack of sleep. Thank you. Hey, what are older sisters for, huh? I'm completely losing my mind. This is true. But I do have some good news for you. Turns out... I can help you. You just gotta listen to me, okay? Come here. Sit down. Let's have a kiki. What's it like to be dead? Short answer, it sucks. It is so boring. And there's this. This is supposed to be attached to me. Other than that though, honestly, it's really not that different from being alive. I've completely lost my mind. Most likely, yeah. But I have to tell you, sis, this isn't going to stop until you let go. Let go? Of what? Well, you can start with that chick. Chick? You mean Roberta? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She is bad news bears. Are you kidding? She's a godsend. Oh. <laughs> no. Nope. Cut that shit loose. Okay. Let's say you're actually here talking to me. Let's. And this isn't some insane hallucination, which I'm pretty sure it is. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Liz, I... I have something to say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Seth. I'm sorry I had a thing with him. Or y you knew, didn't you? I suspected. Then why didn't you say something? What was I supposed to say? <laughs> I don't know anything. Hey, Peyton, are you banging my boyfriend? Something like that? I didn't want to know. I wanted to be wrong. I wanted it to go away. Is that why you hesitated? Huh? 
a day on the water, I could have sworn you hesitated to pull me into the boat. What? Hey, it's okay, sis, I get it. It was just a moment. No, I would- Just long enough for it to get me. Wait, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> and then that was it. She was gone. Just gone? Yep. Did you actually see her vanish, or was she just there, then not there? Do you mean if I actually saw her disintegrate or something? Well, whatever. N no, she was just there, then not. I always wondered about that when people say that they saw something vanish in front of their eyes, what that really looked like. It's never happened to me. Okay. And that's cool. I didn't mean to distract you with questions. Um, <clears throat> please continue. That's it. What do you think she meant about Roberta being bad news bears? I have no idea. Zero. I would think she'd be happy that there was someone there to comfort and take care of me. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just all kinds of wrong. Do you want to talk about what she said at the end? About the hesitation? I... I don't think I hesitated. Okay. But I don't know. Up till now, your guilt has been about being the only survivor, correct? I guess. Maybe there's more to it. You saying I did hesitate? Not at all. But maybe you think you did? You said you told Peyton that you suspected something was going on, but did you? Or did you actually know? I don't know, maybe. Okay, we don't have to talk about this. <sighs> I, just, I just want to know why Peyton came to me. Hallucinations have no logic. Are you sure it was a hallucination? No, not today. There you are. Hi. I was knocking out front. Oh, sorry. I was just back here. Thinking about taking a swim? No, not yet. You sure? Could be fun. I'm sure. Hey, you're early. Dinner's not ready yet. Yeah, I got off work on time for once. I was excited to see what my girls made me. Well, don't get too excited. I basically know how to make two things. Meatloaf and stir fry. Ooh, yum. So what we have it? Thought we'd have fish. Mmm. <sighs> wow. Thank you, babe. That was really good. Stop lying. Not lying. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> How was your session today? It was interesting. How so? I haven't really told you about that day Peyton and Seth died, have I? Not really. I just figured you weren't ready to talk about the details. I wasn't. But I am now. Oh, okay, Ben. But we need wine first. Lots of it. <laughs> I'm down for that. Ugh. Doctor said I was lucky I didn't bleed out or lose my leg. Book. Peyton and Seth weren't so lucky. Wow. Do you have any battle scars? Um, well, 
what am I saying? Of course you don't. You are perfect. Far from it. Oh, look. Check this out. What am I looking at? Beasting, fourth grade. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I crack me up. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> Cheers to that. Mmm. We were on our scuba dive trip. I had just learned and it was gonna be my first time in the open ocean. I was nervous like you wouldn't believe. The sea has always scared me. Me too, I understand. Yeah, the not knowing what's under there, the power of it, yet I was always drawn to it. Anyway, so we're there in the water, our raft just a few meters away. I started to freak out and swim back to the raft I couldn't get myself to dive under even after all those lessons. I'm just about to climb in. Peyton and Seth are of course yelling at me to come back, but I didn't listen. At one point I remember turning around to face them one last time before going in. And there they were looking so close. So intimate. I felt the shudder of disappointment and disgust. I had suspected there was something going on between them, but that's, that's when I knew. I turn to get in, and I feel this pull on my leg. I can't explain it, it jolted me. I reach down and feel my leg has been torn. There's blood on my hand. I'm just about to scream when there's this splashing sound and Seth is yelling, shark, get back to the raft. Peyton is screaming too. Seth is flailing in the water, then whoosh, he's gone. Taken under, just red water left behind. Peyton is screaming, get back to the raft. She starts swimming towards me. I don't know where I found the strength, but I pull myself in. I look and see Peyton swimming as fast as she can. I can see the shadow of the shark behind her. It's not like in the movies where you see the fin chasing her. No. It was deeper in the water, but from my view, I could see it. I yell at her to hurry. She's almost to the raft. She reaches for me. I, I reach for her and she's taken under. Swift and silent like nothing. I don't know if it was one shark or many. I'm guessing many, because that would make more sense. At this point, it's just me, alone in the raft in shock and bleeding. Wow. I have no idea what to say. I can't even imagine. Yeah, luckily, a yacht came by to save me. I mean, that was damn lucky. <gasps> Someone was watching over you. Oh, I don't believe in that bullshit. It's okay. You don't have to. Thing is, I think I... hesitated when I reached to help Peyton out. I think I... I think I wanted the shark to get her. No. It couldn't be true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anymore. Hey, hey, I'm here. It's okay. I'm not going anywhere. 
Wait, I, I don't think this is the time to... Disagree, I want to. Please. No, Berta. I'm tired of being afraid. I want to live. I want to live my life. Sorry, that's gross. Don't apologize. It's sexy snot. <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. Uh, let me at least get a little bit presentable. I'll be right back. Okay. sleep with that girl. Oh my god, now you too? What do you want? I came to keep you from making a mistake. What the mistake? Sleeping with that girl. I always knew you dug girls. You checked them out more than I would. Maybe that's because you were too busy checking my sister out. Touche. I'm going to walk out of this bathroom and you are going to disappear. Afraid not. This is too important. What's too important? You cutting this bitch loose. No. I'm not taking this from you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I don't know what's going on with me. It's okay. Please, it's okay. I just wish they'd leave me alone. Why won't they leave me alone? Who? Peyton and Seth. They were here? Well, they're gone now. I'm here. And they're gone. Sunshine? Jesus, Peyton, what the hell? So, did you hook it up with that non-dairy vegan coffee ice cream yet, or what? What? No. Dang, sis. Glad to see how much you love me. Ooh, how about some cinnamon dolce latte? I just have plain coffee. Plain coffee? Lame. Almost as lame as matcha green tea. Huh? Never mind. So, I hear someone almost got laid last night. That's none of your business. Well, Seth already told me all about it, so. You guys talk? Oh yeah, all the time. It's not like there's much else to do around here. Are you sure you don't have like, just something that I can munch on? Can you even eat? Yeah. Well, no, 
But yeah. Oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Come on. Do you mind if I pour myself some coffee? Not at all, but do me a favor and pass those over. Hey yo. Mm. You look like shit, Peyton. Mm. You stole my lime. And yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't look so hot, I know. God, remember how flawless my skin was in life? I do. I hated you for it. <gasps> oh, I know. My zits had zits. Meanwhile, your skin was smooth as shit from a duck's ass. <laughs> nice. And accurate. All the boys and the girls, actually, wanted to touch my sister's smooth, perfect skin. Aw, oh, stop hating, sis. Plus, look at me now. It's actually kind of good to see you, Peyton. Even if you look like puked up sushi. Thank you. So, what's up? <clears throat> hmm? Ugh, plain black coffee. Ugh. You want water? No, I'm good. Now, you don't seem to be getting it. Sure I do. You and Seth are undead, and I need to get rid of Roberta for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's right. Why? You just have to. She's holding you back. From what? Liz, listen to me. If you don't, Seth and I will never go away, and you will be cursed to see us rot. I don't understand any of this. You don't have to. You just have to believe me. So breaking up with her will change that? I didn't say break up with her. I said get rid of her. Wait a minute. You don't mean... Shit. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's all good. No worries, okay? See? All good. <laughs> oh, come on, sis. Stop being so dramatic. It wasn't all that. <clears throat> that was truly the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I admit, it was not tight. So, you good? <clears throat> I'm good. So, I take it you don't. Well, this coffee. <clears throat> mm. All right, sis. I got ahead. But remember what I said, okay? I don't even know what you said. Yeah, you do. I still don't understand why. Get rid of her! Wow, that's some intense stuff. Um, yeah. What do you think it means? Isn't that what you were supposed to tell me? Not necessarily. Love that. The answer that's not an answer. <laughs> that's what we do. In all seriousness, I'm supposed to help you decipher what it means, not tell you what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that this is tough. I know that you want definitive answers. Unfortunately, I can't provide you with that. But can I offer a suggestion? I know that we discussed swimming in the pool as a way to face your fear of being in actual water with Roberta there to support you. Yeah. I don't think... I think that it would be a first step to another level. Just something to try. I'm not ready for that yet. Will you consider it? Yeah, I'll consider it, but I won't do it. 
Well, then that's not really considering it, is it, Liz? I don't give a flying rat's ass. There's no way I'm ready to get into a pool. Nuh-uh, no way, nope. Come on, Liz. Just put your feet in. I'll hold your hand. I'm good. This is as close to the pool as I like to get. Oh, come on. For me? Don't try that. It might actually work. That's what I'm counting on. Yay! <laughs> Just give me a minute. Don't try anything. I won't. I wouldn't dare. Take your time. <laughs> oh, you're doing so good, baby! Don't do that child baby encouraging talk. I'll just bail. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Me? Shush. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yes, I know. I can try more meditation, maybe? That doesn't seem to be working for you. Yeah, but I haven't been putting all my focus onto it. I've been lazy. Also, I haven't been exercising. Let me try again. If there's no progress, if it gets worse, and then I'll take something. Fair? Fair. Oh my god, this is never going to work on. Peyton, what do you want? Why are you doing this? Told ya. You gotta cut her loose. Gotta cut all this shit loose. Otherwise, it's just gonna get worse. Want some fruit? It's really ripe. No, thank you. Uh, hey, uh, at work today, Brendan was telling me this crazy gossip about my coworker, Josh, who I was telling you about, the one who's always saying inappropriate things. <laughs> so apparently, he tells my boss that he thinks his manness is holding him back at the office. <laughs> like. Isn't that hilarious? God, I just want that guy to get a haircut. <laughs> you ready to eat? Hey, <laughs> I get it if you don't like it, but you can be a little nicer though. No, I'm sorry. It looks great. I'm just totally losing my mind. Don't say that. No, you're not. I really think I am. Look, I believe you can beat this and get better. But if you give up, there's no hope. And I'm sorry to be blunt like this, but it's true. There's no hope. I've lost family to mental illness. I can recognize the signs. Liz, I believe in you. I know you have what it takes to conquer this and get better. But that doesn't mean jack if you don't. 
Now, do you believe it? Say it. I believe it. Believe what? That I can conquer this thing. Goddamn right you can. Now who's my tough bitch? I'm your tough bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> now eat your food. Why? None of us can go anywhere until you do it. It's just the way it is. Why can't I just break up with her? Yeah, go ahead and try. It's not gonna work. So you'll let me? You'll let me try that first? If I can get rid of her that way, then it will be okay? Sure. You have tonight. Otherwise, we're gonna do it for you. Have fun. It's okay, Brody. Your mama's not full-blown psycho yet. I don't understand. I just think it's best for now. I'm not handling all this super well and it's not fair to you to have to take care of me. But I like taking care of you. That's sweet, but I don't. I feel useless and weak. I need to prove to myself that I can face this and get over this alone. I can respect that. But I think it's a terrible idea. Of course you do. What does that mean? It means you want to be the hero. You probably like me so much because you love the idea of saving me. That's not true. Like hell it isn't. I'm willing to bet that when I finally do feel better, you'll lose interest. You'll get bored and want to move on to the next damsel in distress that you can find. Liz, please. That can't be further from the truth. Well, I don't need or want a savior. I survived the attack. I can survive this. I know you can. I'm rooting for okay, you. Okay, great. So we agree. So now please, let me have my space. Liz, what's going on? <sighs> Love of Christ, there goes that therapist talk again. I already have one therapist, I don't need another. Don't do this. I love you. Well, I don't love you. Now please get out. Get out! I'm here if you need me, no matter what. I love you. Oh. Hey, good job. Let's watch something. I hear Six-Headed Shark Attack is on sci-fi. Pain, can you leave me alone a moment? Why? I want to watch some bad TV like we used to. Come on, please. <sighs> Fine.
I'll leave you alone to mope. Adios, Miss Morose. Who is it? It's me. Sorry. I think I left my planner in the kitchen. I promise I'll just grab it and go. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on, but I can't leave you like this. I can't. See, I told you. I know. I know. Peyton? Seth? You guys out there? Peyton? See, we told you it wouldn't work. Jesus, Peyton. What? Aren't you used to this by now? What is it doing here? Waiting for you. This is the right thing. The only thing. Stop the pain. You let me die, Liz. You two carried on behind my back. I never said a damn thing about it because I was too scared. I'm not scared anymore. Maybe I did hesitate. Maybe I did. And maybe, just maybe, you two both deserve to die. Maybe we did. Speak for yourself. I have to ask one question. Didn't you feel bad? Wasn't the shame overwhelming, or did you just not care? Well, that was more than one question. Peyton. What? That was like three questions. You're such a bitch. Yeah, can be. No, you are. Ew. Who asked you? Was it worth it? Tell me. No, not really. Yeah, I'd have to agree. That's just fantastic.
else you need? Do you want to go to the ER? For what? For them to tell me I'm crazy? For stabbing my dead sister and ex-boyfriend? Who weren't there? I'm sorry, I just... No, I'm sorry. Truthfully, I can't believe you're still here. I can't believe you didn't call the police and have them take me away. I would never. I know you're not yourself. I'm not. Just promise you'll let me take you to the doctor tomorrow. I promise. <sighs> My therapist is gonna have a field day with this one. I'll be fine. Do you think I'm crazy? No. I think you went through something horrible and you're still dealing with it. Do you believe me about Peyton and Seth? I believe you love them very much. And that you felt betrayed by them. And I also believe that you blame yourself for their deaths. I'll ask my therapist about medication tomorrow. But for now, do you have any of your stuff? Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, at this point, anything to help me sleep? Anything to make me feel different? You sure? <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> what do I do? Just in. You ever smoked a cigarette? In high school, it was gross. Okay, similar idea. You inhale, but with this, you inhale deeper and you hold it a few seconds before you exhale. Ugh. Don't you have a vape? Isn't that what everyone does nowadays? Yeah, but I left it at home and vaping's for bitches, okay? This is old school. You ready? Now hold it. Now exhale. <laughs> that was fun, let's do that again. Okay.
Mais... Sleep well, my princess. Berta, you here? Berta? Oh my god. Hey. Sorry. It's okay. You're awake. It's starting to get worried. How long was I asleep? About 28 hours. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Did you think I was dead? No, silly. But I thought if you didn't wake up this morning, then maybe I called the doctor. Maybe? Yeah. You've been sleep deprived for a year. You needed it. Did you sleep well? I guess I did. I didn't have a single dream. At least I don't remember. Wow! <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for you, babe. Mm. I'm happy for me, too. And I feel great. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Yay! Hooray for whatever it is you gave me that night. Hooray for weed. Yes! <laughs> Do people know it has medicinal purposes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm famished. What's for beef fest? Haven't made anything to eat yet. Well, then, maybe I'll just start with you. Whoa, babe. Wait, for real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, okay, shit. <laughs> I'm so Sorry I made you wait that long. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Do not apologize. That was worth the wait. It sure was. Holy shit. <laughs> so seriously? I need some breakfast now. Yeah. I'm hungry too. Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Yes, let's. But first. Okay, now let's go. Okay. Berta. Yeah. I can't move. Neither can I. So how long has it been? Two weeks, no nightmare. That's incredible. Uh, dreams of any kind? I don't know, I don't think so. If so, I don't remember any of them. 
but I've been sleeping soundly and waking up feeling like a million bucks. Uh, fantastic. Uh, the cannabis still helping? Actually, I haven't used it in about a week now. Okay. <laughs> and I've been meditating and swimming in the pool every day. No kidding. No kidding. I think that exercise is what's helping me sleep. Wow. <laughs> Just, wow. I am so happy for you. Me too. I feel like a person again. And you and Roberta are? We're doing really great. I'm up for more activities now, so we've been doing so many fun things. We're actually planning a trip to the Caicos Islands in a couple of months. Caicos? Where's that? It's in the Caribbean. Roberta has some friends out there that are actually going to take us diving with humpback whales. You're going diving? In the ocean? Yes. Oh my god! I know, I know. I told Roberta that if I freak out last minute, she can't pressure me. Of course, but that's so exciting. What brought this idea on? Well, before the incident, I had always wanted to dive, especially with whales. So when Roberta told me about her friends, I thought, why not? Might as well try, right? Right. Oh, that's wonderful, Liz. Thank you. And I really appreciate all your help. You're welcome. So, do you think you'll be able to go back to work soon? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Funny, I can't remember the last time I worked. Or what that job was. Really? No, I'm kidding. It's just been a while. Hmm. So, next week? Yeah. Peyton? Seth? <sighs> Brody, you scared me. Okay, Brody, time for a meditation break. Join me. Oh, okay, fine, you do you. Who is it? Pizza, ma'am. Pizza? I didn't order any pizza. Says your name, ma'am. What's the name? I said, what's the name? Says this address, ma'am. What's the name? Excuse me? What's the name on the order? Having a hard time hearing you. It's a uh, Hawaiian pizza, extra ham, ma'am. Okay, but what's the name? I think you have the wrong house. Ma'am? Oh my God, I said you have the wrong house. <laughs> I think we've done all we can do here. Call it. Time of death, 11.52 p.m. Cause of death, blood loss due to shark bite. Nurse Kwan, make any arrangements. Yes, doctor. She put up a hell of a fight, though. Yeah, she sure did.
Morning. Morning was an hour ago. It's nearly lunch. What's all this? 
Well, the mayor came in for his nine o'clock. He wanted you to know that he waited for 20 minutes, which was 19 minutes longer than he wanted to. I told him you were sick and we would follow up to reschedule. Fish and Game called twice. Seems they need someone to draft a policy on the definition of a buck deer. You got a call from Nolan Holt this morning and your sponsor left another message. He wants you to call him back. What Nolan want? He didn't say. It sounded important though. How so? When I told him you were otherwise indisposed, he asked that you hurry every chance you get. Call the mayor. Reschedule for lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that seafood place he likes? Oceaner. That's the one. Make sure they bring out those hush puppies. Mm -hmm. He likes those. After that, call Fish and Game. Tell them that anything with a hard antler protruding through the skin is a buck deer. Same as last season and the hundreds of seasons before that. And your sponsor? Forget it. You sure? I'm busy. Mm -hmm. And Nolan. I'll handle that one myself. You gonna get that? You know, one of these days that thermos is gonna catch up with you. Well, lucky for you, you'll be here to tell me I told you so. The worst time to hear I told you so is when you end up saying it to yourself. Thanks, Rima. Hello, Nolan. Yes. What's up, partner? Hey, Nolan. <laughs> so, what'd you want to show me? Phone call about. <laughs> Check it out. Mm. <laughs> Woo wee! Nolan, why is there a shark in the back of your truck? You sure, booty? That's not what I asked. Where'd you get this? Brother got in Surf City. I'm gonna buddy out fishing. Got himself a big one. <laughs> it's crazy. Why do you have it? Why do I have it? What do you think I have it, son? I'm gonna sell it. You're gonna sell it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, you know the teeth? Jawbone? Sometimes people like to eat the finish shit. You're killing. Great. Looks fucking bloated. Are you sure it's. Ah, it's dirt and shit, man. Don't worry about it. All right, all right, cut that shit out. You gotta get this thing out of here. Take it back where it came from. Why? Because this is a small town, Nolan. Once word gets out, you got a dead shark near the lake. People are gonna equate all this. The sharks being in the water. That don't make any sense. Everybody knows that no sharks swim in fresh water. It's a perception, Nolan. I don't need to explain that to you. Just do what I ask. I want this thing back in Surf City today. You got it? God damn, man. Well, can I keep a fin at least? Get your ass on the road now. A tooth? Do it! You piss me off. God damn it. You shouldn't have brought it here in the first place. Hey, what the hell are you doing? You can't just come in here and announce, Gary. Unannounced? I call your cell, you don't answer. Your office, no call back. I mean, seriously, do you even get my messages? Besides, you always leave a key outside in case you go AWOL. 
Did it ever occur to you I might just be busy? Don't bullshit a bullshitter, man. You were coming up on a hundred days. I'd shit with work, Gary, Dottie, and the kid. And this is how you get them back? They don't have room for an addict. And from what you've told me, they've made that pretty damn clear. When's the last time you actually ate something? You know, if you keep facing in the right direction, this thing's really pretty simple. But you gotta keep walking. I'm trying, Gary. I should've called you. Well, have you seen her? The kiddo? It's been three weeks. Drove by the house the other night. Well, look, I'm here to help. And I'm a hell of a good listener. I'll put on some coffee. Thanks, Gary. Catching anything? A damn thing. What's in it? Coffee. Oh, shit. You got a license to fish out here? That's none of your damn business, Gary. <laughs> He's worried about taking care of me. That's a full-time job. I bet it is. I appreciate you either way. You can do this deal, brother. One day at a time. Did you ever slip up? I did. Several times. But you know what? I wouldn't trade this way of life, and I wouldn't trade my sobriety for anything in the world. You get there. I'm driving back down south. You got another thing coming. Hey. You hate some bitch. You go Betsy. Into the water. Here's dirty.
It's just coffee today, Rima. Lunch with the mayor went well. What's that look? What? What? The uh, sheriff's here to see you. Send him in. Wilson? Spencer? What could I do you for? You hadn't heard? Heard what? Found a dead girl on the lake. Where's the body? What's left of it? Coroner's office. There's a bunch of boats in the water a couple miles up the coast from where we found the girl. I sent a couple of my guys up there to bring them in. What'd you tell him? Lake water tests. Figured that'd give us some time to figure out what we're gonna say. We? We hadn't had a murder in this town in 60 years. And now, in a goddamn election year, you're the warden. I deal with criminals. You deal with animals. Well, Sheriff, I think I deal with more criminals in this town than you do. What makes you think it's an animal? They pulled that out of the middle of her back, lodged into her spine. Yeah, that's a shark tooth. Impossible. Listen, I don't want to cause a panic in town with the locals. Word gets out, we got a shark in the lake, and you can forget all about tourists. Sheriff, if there were a shark in these waters, as rare as that would be, the chances of attacking and killing a swimmer like that doesn't add up. They don't come into fresh water. We don't have reefs. Slaughterhouses? No. Nothing here to keep it interested. All right, then. Game warden. How'd a shark end up in my lake? No one! Warden? Warden, my ass, what'd you do? About what? The other day, a little package in the back of your truck. Oh, what did you do? Oh, man, shit, man, I didn't know you meant it. What'd you do with it, Nolan? I dumped it by the lake. Up by the campground, why? You dumped it in the lake. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I just didn't want to make another trip, that's all. Damn. You told me it was dead, Nolan. You swore to me. It was dead. I even poked it with a stick. You saw it? Why? What are you trying to say here, huh? A young girl's dead, Nolan. Huh? The shark was alive when you put it back. There's in the no water. way! It, it didn't move for 10 hours! What about the one inside it, hmm? Inside. I told you it looked fucking bloated! Get the fuck out of here, man! You tell me it was knocked up! You got a better suggestion? What do we even do? I mean, I didn't do anything. I mean, I didn't do anything, man. You saw I was dead, you saw it. I poked it with a stick, you saw it, man, right? Save it for the sheriff, no one. It was dead. I poked it with a stick. So do you even have to go to the academy to be a game warden? 
about 31 weeks, asshole. Right on time, fellas. I'm gonna mow my lunch here. No. At first, I thought that a shark in lake water didn't make any sense. But I did my research. Come to find out, it's not as uncommon as you might think. Louisiana, Mississippi, even parts of the Texas coast, but never this far up, though. Is it dead? Excuse me? The shark. Is it dead? Hmm. Which one? Whoa. What do you mean, which one? Look here. You see the bite ratio here on her lower back? I called a friend of mine down at the Ocean Institute and I had him take a look at the measurements. Come to find out those teeth markings are from a younger shark. You know, the tooth you found in her back? It broke off like that because the shark's jawline is still developing. What am I supposed to tell that girl's family? Never mind that. So what you're saying is not one, but two sharks in our lake? Well, unless this adolescent shark got lost at sea, I can almost bet the mama shark's out there with him. Son of a bitch. Look, gentlemen, you're interrupting my lunch, and at the end of the day, I need to be honest with my cause of death here. This girl was killed by a shark attack, and how that happened, it's your jobs to figure out. How long can we keep this quiet? A few days, if we're lucky. This friend of yours at the Institute, you have his number? In case I have any questions. Right there. Good luck. No, no, no. That's not what I said. No, what I said was I didn't want to make a comment at this time. And legally, that's all you can print. Harry, hold on a second. Hey, you got the mayor on the line? Harry, yeah, it's the mayor's office. I gotta call you back. Don't print anything. You hear me? Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I have a call to the Ocean Institute as well. When? All right, I should be getting a call any minute now. Rima. Rima! Nothing back from the guy from Port Aransas? Line two. Mr. Mayor? Yes, my assistant, just let me know our guy's on hold. Will do, you got my word. If you could keep the paper off my back, I'd appreciate it until we figure this whole thing out. Yes, sir, talk to you soon. What lines got for Port A? Line two. God damn it, there's nobody there. Well, he hung up. Should I call him back? Yeah, right now, please. Yeah. If the paper calls back, tell Harry to call the mayor's office if he wants a statement, okay? Okay. God damn it. Gary, now's not a good time, my friend. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not that. I appreciate you checking in on me. I just got a lot going on at work right now and I gotta call you back. This is Tim's. Yes, yes, thank you for calling me back so quickly. Great, so we understand our situation up here. Okay, wait, wait, say that last part again. How could you possibly know all that? All right, I'll be there tonight. Thank you. Nolan Holt is on line one. Go fuck yourself, no one. Now, is that necessary? Where do you think you're going? Port Aransas. Now? That's a seven hour drive. It's important. Have the sheriff meet me at the North Dock at 7 a.m. Anybody else call, send them to the mayor's office till I get back and keep your cell phone on. Are you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? Not right now.
the hell does everybody have a key to this place? You're not answering your phone. Got a lot going on. I can see that. It's not like that. Hey. What's this? You know what it is, Spencer. I'm not signing that. You don't really have a choice. You come into my house with divorce papers. You won't even let me see him. And whose fault is that? I mean, you remember your little episode at the courthouse. It's my son too! And you, you are holding him hostage from me. <sighs> How dare you? I have done nothing but give you chances to have some sort of relationship with him and you've done nothing but shit all over it. How many times have you shown up drunk or hung over? How many times can you cancel on him before he starts to think you don't give a shit? Just don't, don't put that on me. All right, fine. But I'm not signing these. Not yet. You are still my wife. We're gonna work through all this. We're gonna be a family again. When you were young, I loved who you were. Now, I don't know this guy. And that, that hurts the worst. Sign the papers. It's what's best for all three of us. Enjoy your drink. It's not what's best. Can we talk about this? That's a good one. That's there. Frankfurt, Michigan, three years ago. And that's not the first one I've heard about in fresh water. I know, the chances of winning the lottery or a meteorite falling from the sky seem more likely than finding a shark in the Great Lakes. 
but there are more than 100 eyewitness accounts of sharks swimming up the Mississippi as far up as Illinois. Given the distance between the Gulf of Mexico and Lake Michigan, I have to suggest that if a shark with an extreme case of wanderlust could make it up to the Illinois River, it could surely make it a third of the way and end up in your backyard. See, the unique trick is that bull sharks have kidneys that recycle the salt vital to the animal cells. Normally, a dip in fresh water would dilute the salt, causing the cells to rupture, kill it. Not the bull shark. Great. I see this a lot when people read magazine articles on shark attacks or they turn on the History Channel for one week a year. Suddenly everyone becomes an expert. But Warden, Texas, Michigan, Mississippi, the Amazon. When Hamlin called me, I took a look at what she had. See this? The size and depth of these wounds matches that of only one species. This isn't a trick of the sun or waves or too much alcohol. What you're dealing with is a shark, and from the looks of it, a hungry one. Now there is some good news. With the lack of any salt water or appropriate food and with the colder temperatures coming, I think this shark problem is not gonna last you too much longer. As long as you've closed the lake, I think the shark thing is gonna go away pretty quickly. You did close the lake, right? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Harper, glad I could catch you. Is this a bad time? Who's this? Uh, she's with me, legal counsel. May I? <sighs> About this problem, this little problem we've got with our lake up north, Corner Hamlin, uh, she was up here to speak with you, was she not? She did. Hey, the game warden. He came down here and paid you a visit. That's right. He left just about an hour ago. Look, Mr. Mayor, whatever you want to know, I can assure you that I've briefed your game warden. You know, I love to fish. I once caught a marlin off the Florida Keys. Came in at eight feet long and 200 pounds. Took me two hours to reel him in. Now I know you told Spencer we got a shark in our waters. Personally, if it was the family of marlins that wanted to populate the lake, I'd say bring them on. I want a rematch. But we're not talking about marlins. That would be impossible. We're talking about a shark. A bull shark. That's right. I've given the game warden the report. Amputated arms and legs, the bites aren't hard to find. Take a look at this. Woo. This is six months ago, three states north of where you are. Oh. Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Watch out! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, hold on to that thing! 
Oh my gosh. Look at this boat. Look at this boat. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's like a nine or ten footer. That is not like seven. That's, that's huge. Oh jeez. Do you see that? I don't know. He attacked us. He literally attacked us. What you're dealing with here is a very real possibility. Oh my god. Oh, hold on, is that I wonder. Does the board at the Ocean Institute share your conviction on this bull shark theory? It's not a theory, it's a fact. I doubt they'd be very happy to have a major hit in their funding because one of their mad scientists was spouting erroneous rumors about sharks in freshwater lakes. I'm sorry, what are you getting at? We are very powerful people, Mr. Harper. Would you do me a favor? Would you give us the room? So, could be a problem. I am not paying you to state the obvious. What do we have in place for this? Containment. Thirteen men have run against you. They all thought they had a chance. They lost. We didn't get here by forgetting how we pay our rent. And now I'm running up against a fucking shark. Don't twist my words. I'm not saying we win. I'm saying we take out the story's legs then it's heart. And how do we do that? Who else knows? The game warden. The alcoholic. What's that matter? He's the easiest to discredit. The sheriff? He's not a problem, trust me. He wants his quiet as much as I do. Okay. We keep the victims' families quiet a little bit longer until we can draft something up on our side. Anyone talks, we know the weakest link. All we have to do is cut him loose and you look like a hero. Okay. All right then, the pieces are all on the board. Unless there's anyone else who knows about your problem. turn around. Stay calm. This is simply two civil servants having a friendly conversation. There are so many kinds of bravery in this world. Sometimes bravery means laying down your life for something bigger than yourself or for someone else. Sometimes it means Giving up everything you've ever known, everything you've ever loved, for the sake of something greater. But sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes bravery simply means gritting your teeth through the pain, everyday work, slow walk to a better life, and doing what you're asked to do, whether or not you agree with it. Okay, Mr. Mayor. I, I don't need you to say anything right now. But that last kind of bravery I talked about, 
That's the kind of bravery you're going to need right now. We'll be in touch. You all enjoy the rest of your lunch. This is Hamlin. Don't speak. Just listen. You're gonna go back to your office this afternoon and you're gonna file that dead girl's report. Only difference is, this time, when you file it, you're gonna leave the cause of death blank. Understood? Hamlin? Yes, I understand. You even slept? You look like shit. It's a bull shark. We need to close the lake down. Bull shark? What makes you so sure? Do you hear what I just said? I heard you. But close down the lake? With the tourists coming in? <laughs> Can't just wash those tax dollars away. I'm up for re-election in two and a half months. Can't handle that kind of action. Not what you can't handle, Wilson, is a kid getting eaten by a shark. Can't afford that. What are you not telling me? The guy at the Ocean Institute? I went and saw him. Good news is, mother sharks don't allow their young to hunt on their own. That, plus the size of the bite radius on the dead girl, says we're looking at one shark, not two. So what happened to the mother shark? His best guess, didn't survive the birth. So we got one dead shark underwater, and another one looking for warm meals. And it's fucking hungry. Did you run this past the mayor? Just got in, Pete. First face I've seen. We need divers to confirm it. 
Otherwise, we trust the expert, assume if the shark is feeding, that it's got no other choice. Mother's dead. We need to get on both. I can't keep that little girl's mother quiet much no, what longer. what you need to do is shut down the damn lake. Cut off his food supply. We don't have to do that if we kill the damn thing first. Now, I'm still the fucking sheriff in this town. Last time I checked, you answered me. All right, so go find us a boat, and we'll go out there and kill this fucking thing. But we're gonna be real quiet about it, right? Nobody's gotta know about this but us. In the meantime, we'll stick with the uh, whole water testing story. Hey, I do not want mass hysteria. You got me? I got you. The mayor's here to see you. Send him in. Morbid, terrible shame. He's a good man. Can be hard to replace. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Where'd you get that? Deputy brought it in. He didn't know what else to do with it. The lake is 31 miles long. I understand that. If you allow me to call a harbor patrol. No, harbor patrol. Too much negative attention. You know, anybody can take the wheel of a ship in calm waters, but the waves get rough, not so easy. We can't just sit back and enjoy the good times. We gotta stand tough through it all. I appreciate the pep talk, but sir. Not a pep talk, Warden, that is a promise. This town has not seen a murder in more than half a century. A shark in these waters? That's unheard of. Sheriff Wilson's dead. I can deal with that end of the mess. But you gotta get a handle on this disaster and live up to your end of the deal. Deal? Do your fucking job so I can save mine. I need to know what you're gonna do about this shark problem. I got a charter coming in. I asked Wilson to shut down the lake, but he refused. We can shut down the lake without shutting down the lake. I'll have my office put out a statement. Work being performed on the dam. <sighs> Sheriff Wilson's another story. But the coroner's exam is gonna take a couple of days, maybe enough time for us to come up with some sort of response. There is no response. We got two people dead. Now the two options I see is that we cut off the shark's food supply or wait it out, see if it starves itself to death. That's it. And you are the authority on this. I spoke to the experts. I drove down to the Ocean Institute. This town can survive anything on two feet. Wildcats, sharks, 
There's only one person around here who's going to take the fall for that sort of thing. Always nice to see you, Rima. Yeah, no, I know. I just didn't look at the damn calendars all. Yeah. No, that's fine. It's work. What do you want me to do? No, we're not done talking about the paper signing. Thought I gotta go. Already? Yes, already. You forgot, didn't you? No, I just thought it was going to be later in the day. That's all. Hey, what did I tell you about bringing the gun in the house? I'm sorry, Dad. It's all right. Hey. Apologies won't get you anywhere faster. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, I will be back to pick you up Sunday. You call me if you need anything, okay? Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Have a good weekend. Yeah. She's still mad, huh? Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, I thought so. You keeping it clean like I showed you? Yeah. Mm. Good. Responsibility. It'll teach you how to do things for yourself. There's no TV in the guest room. Oh yeah, about that, yeah. Take my room. I had to work this weekend anyway. Hey, don't pout. I'll call up Uncle Gary, come over here and keep you company until I get back. I'm 13. I don't need a babysitter. Besides, he's not even a real uncle. He's just some guy from your AA meetings. Seriously? I deserve that. I need you to stay by the house. Mom said you were working on the lake. Yeah, it's nothing. We're just looking for something. But it reminds me, you stay out of the water this weekend, too. I want you down there with your buddies, flirting with girls. All right, stay out of the water. Hey, I need to hear you say it. Stay out of the lake. Stay out of the lake. You promise? Promise. All right, you promised me. You hungry? I could eat. We might have to order out, but let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Your cooking sucks anyways. Yeah, I know.
Gary, I don't have time for right now, buddy. Kind of busy here. Have Grant duties at the house. What do you mean not at the house? The lake. I'm on my way. So we get to the shore. Right? Go. Go. Don't look back, son. Get you patched up, all right? You gotta be brave for me, all right? Yeah, grab hold of my neck. Grab hold of my neck. You ready? One, two, three. talking about that. The whole ride over here, he's telling me he was attacked by a shark. Is that true? Oh my God, and you didn't tell me? Would it have done any good? No. No, I wouldn't have brought him here if I knew that. You know he loves the water. Hey, I told him to stay out of the lake, okay? He lied to me too. I, I can stay here tonight. I'll drive him home in the morning, but Spencer, what the hell's going on? There's a shark in the lake. Don't ask me how. 
but it survived and it's killed three people. And this isn't on the news. And somehow you're in charge of this. They need a fall guy. You're looking at him. Spencer, I know you. Whatever this is, you cannot serve two masters. Hey, I'm clean. On our son, I am clean. What are you gonna do? The mayor doesn't want me to bring attention to it. Can't hire a guy to kill the shark. It's gotta be me. <sighs> Spencer, they're just looking for an out when this thing blows up in their faces. What? What did you just say? I said they're gonna blame you for this. No, no, after that. It'll blow up in their faces. I can help? Nolan, hold! Get your ass out here! Oh, hell. What, did you come all the way over here to arrest my ass? No, I came to help you. Help me? Yeah. Who's she? It's my wife. Ex-wife. Nothing's been signed yet. So you two need to get on the same page. Never mind all that, Nolan. It's not why I'm here. I'm here because I need you as much as you need me. All right? Oh, yeah? What do you want from me? You want to make this shark thing disappear? Save your sorry ass in the process? I need you to do something for me. All right, what do you want? Do you have anything that explodes? Think. Dynamite, gunpowder, anything. C4. What? What? C4. You want something to expose, right? Well, that's the ticket right there. What do you want it for? Where in the hell did you get C4? Oh, we're we gonna ask 20 questions here? Or do you want the damn stuff? What do you want for it? Get the sheriff off my ass. Deal. Thanks, Nolan. Be sure you poke him with a stick. <laughs> right, macho man? <laughs> over up front. Anything breaks the surface, you shoot it. It feeds in the shallow waters. I gotta get it to you now, swallow this. Okay. Then what? Then we blow it to pieces with this. All right. That should get us attention. Now what? Now? Now we wait. I don't get it. Damn thing should have been here by now. I'm almost out of bait. Maybe we should move to a different spot. Mm. Deeper waters won't work in case one of us has to get in. Get in. As in get in the water with the shark. How else do you expect it to swallow the C4? I don't know. I thought it would come close enough we could just toss it in its mouth. Really? Yeah, that'd be easier for sure. You're not seriously considering this, are you? Oh, what? What's this? Huh? All of a sudden you give a shit about what happens to me? I needed this person before, not now. So did I. Oh, fuck. 
this ain't working. I'm getting in. Just make it a clean shot. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm glad you're starting over, all of you. Gonna miss you around here, Warden. Nah, uh, new guy will do just fine. Besides, quitting while you're still good at something ain't the same as quitting. I can't seem to find that thermos of yours anywhere. No, it's gone. I don't need it anymore. Well, if you ever want to stop and pay a visit, there will always be a pot of coffee on for you. I believe it. Thanks, Rima. Working on my book right now, Bubba. Well, I, that ain't finished yet. I mean, I'm working on it as we speak. Yeah, it'll be out soon. <laughs> First, I'm out in the lake. I'm gonna get me some dinner. Give me some of that poon tang fish fin. You know what I mean? Shark fin, if I can. <laughs> all right, I'll call you back. All right, all right. Get you tonight, boy. Oh, yeah. Chapter one, Terror in the Water. Today is October 3rd, 2021. It's been three weeks since the sleepy town been ravaged by the lake shark. Uh, 
It's been uh, three weeks since this town has been ravaged by the silent predator known as the Lake Monster. It's been three weeks since this sleepy town been ravaged by the Lone Star Shark. <laughs> Got best silver number, boy. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, 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 boy. God damn, son bitch. What the? Oh, Jesus. Shit, shit. Yeah, am I stuck on someone? Ah, there. There's it at. There's no hope confirming the worst fears. The Lone Star Shark lives on. Stay tuned. 